Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 17th of January. You know, really not a bad day today. We've had some rain in spots, but it's light and the sun is out in a lot of places and temperatures are mostly in the 50s. We can celebrate that, but by golly, look at that. Are you kidding me? There's still snow on the ground at Mount Cheon. Not a lot, but if you look carefully over there in the grass, you'll see some uh, patches of snow in the shaded areas. That has been uh, a long-lasting deal. You know, that snow started uh, a Sunday a week ago. So this is really day eight of snow on the ground up there. It doesn't happen that often here in Alabama for snow to be on the ground that long. We'll check the Inverness Sky Cam, kind of back to reality. Traffic along US 280 uh, at mid-afternoon. And look at that. Uh, that's a gorgeous scene. That's a barge coming through the uh, Tom Bigby River, coming north up the river, right by the Demopolis Civic Center. And it is sunny and very comfortable. Readings are pushing 60 down there in that part of West Alabama. But don't get used to it because we have another Arctic shot due in here late this week. Water vapor satellite shot a pretty decent uh, short wave and a surface low near uh, Tampa Bay, producing some pretty rough weather down in Florida. But around here, look at that. You can see uh, that southwest Alabama is totally sunny. Uh, Mobile, Monroeville, Greenville, Camden, Demopolis, places like that basking in the sunshine. But the farther north you go, you get up into clouds, and it's cloudy to the east, cloudy to the west, and the clouds will fill in tonight. And I don't think we'll see as much sun, uh, sunshine tomorrow. And yeah, the numbers are looking pretty good. Tuscaloosa, Montgomery, 57 degrees this afternoon. This is the inauguration day down in uh, Montgomery. They had a great day for the parade and all the activities on the steps of the state capitol building there. Birmingham at 54. The only spot still in the 40s is Gadsden. They've got clouds and 46 degrees. And yes, in pockets up there, still some snow on the ground. Oh, but look up north. Again, that's just like this big... You know, 20-ton boulder sitting right on top of us. Uh, it's cold. I mean, really cold. It's cold as 45 below zero Fahrenheit up in the northwest territories of Canada. And a chunk of that will break away and come right down in here late this week on Friday. There's our watch warning map uh, up north, scattered winter weather advisories. And look at the tornado watches down there in south Florida. Uh, goodness, that watch is in effect until 7 o'clock. Had a couple of tornado warnings uh, out of uh, weather service offices down there this afternoon. So they're kind of having what we often get in March or April in South Florida today. There's the QPF chart, expected precipitation around the nation for the next five days. Suggesting about three-quarters of an inch. This is valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. And this takes into account the rain we see tonight and tomorrow, which will not be much, and the bigger rain event, which will be Thursday night. And that might be a half inch or so. All right, let's check the GFS and check out that uh, wintry weather mischief deal at the end of the week. This is uh, the O, I'm sorry, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow, and the mandatory level here, 500 millibars. Vorticity coming through the uh, base of that trough around Shreveport, and down below that should be a, a day with clouds and some light rain at times. Rainfall amount should be a quarter inch or less, not a big deal, but it should rain at times tomorrow. And uh, not as bright as today, and temperatures will likely peak in the uh, low 50s. The GFS has 52, and that sounds about right. Uh, Wednesday, in the wake of that feature, the, the weather will be dry, turning a little cooler. Both the uh, NAM and the GFS have cooled off a bit. They've got now highs in the middle 40s. In fact, the NAM showing only 44, the uh, GFS showing 46 on Wednesday. We think morning clouds should give way to a partly sunny afternoon. All right, Thursday, there's your trough axis off to the west. Down below that, rain breaks out across uh, Louisiana, parts of Arkansas. Looks like a big snow Thursday over parts of Missouri, southern Illinois, southern Indiana. And a uh, very cold air coming down the pike, crossing over into North Dakota. That's the uh, 45 below zero stuff that's been sitting up there. Go to Thursday night at midnight. Woo-wee, that looks like a good snow for Tennessee and Kentucky, doesn't it? Uh, if you live in Nashville... Memphis, Knoxville, that Interstate 40 corridor, you might get a good uh, two, three, four inch snow, maybe five inches in spots. That's going to be a good one up there. And you can see the old challenge, the uh, freeze line at 850 is over the Tennessee Valley. 
and that's suggesting there might be some accumulating snow for Muscle Shoals in Huntsville and Scottsboro, not that they need any more. In that uh, line will be dropping south during the night, and sometime between midnight and 6 o'clock before it all moves out, more than likely, we could see a changeover to freezing rain or snow for a brief time as far south as Interstate 20. This will be nothing like the storm we had, uh, you know, eight days ago, but it could be enough to cause some icy travel Friday morning. Here's a look at Friday morning at 6 o'clock. At that point, all of this mess is ending, the uh, uh, freezing rain or snow, um, and it just turns cold, uh, very cold on Friday, strong cold air advection. The uh, GFS showing a high of 38. That's probably way too warm. I think we'll sit around freezing all day long with a wind chill index in the 20s. Now, let's look at the uh, European. It, this is valid same time, 6 o'clock Friday morning. It's a little warmer. It's got the uh, critical thickness line up there closer to the Tennessee Valley. And I say a little warmer. Really, the thermal fields are very similar. Uh, but it shows the precipitation moving out as the cold air moves in. In other words, no big deal. But even if this is right, if we pick up a half inch of rain Thursday night, we drop immediately down to the upper 20s. That moisture is still going to be on the highways. That could be turning to ice. So, again, even in that scenario, some icy bridging issues, that's a concern. And the Canadian, pretty similar. Look at the big storm it's got up there around uh, uh, Chesapeake Bay. Wow. That is a whopper of a snowstorm. And I would suggest the thing tails off to snow or, or freezing rain down here early Friday morning in the pre-dawn hours, probably 3 to 6 a.m., something like that. And we'll check the snow cover uh, graphic coming off the 12Z GFS. This is uh, the snow cover at noon on Friday. And uh, the one thing we note, it's backed off on the snow amounts for Tennessee and Kentucky. Instead of the, the big four to six inch amounts, it's down to uh, two inches up there. I think they'll see more. And it's got the uh, snow cover. And this is just a dusting, okay? This is less than one inch, the, the little light purple you see there across north Alabama, basically along and north of 278, Hamilton, Coleman, Gadsden. And uh, so uh, there's a real chance we could see some freezing rain or some snow for a time during the pre-dawn hours Friday morning. And there could be some icy travel Friday morning, and that might mean some school issues again. And we'll certainly fine-tune that. We don't want to be specific because we're so far out there. Just be aware that's on the table. There's Friday at midday. And again, I don't think we get above freezing based on the origin of this air mass. And there's Saturday starting off the weekend. Uh, we'll be in the teens Saturday morning, probably mid-teens. And the high Saturday, maybe upper 30s to near 40. Should be a dry day. And there's Sunday. Again, uh, uh, cold morning Sunday. We'll be down there close to 20. Uh, we'll probably hit low and mid-40s Sunday afternoon. And Monday of next week, we're uh, a little warmer. Highs creeping up there. Maybe upper fifties to uh, upper forties to near fifty. And a week from tomorrow, uh, the GFS tries to depict a little low in the Gulf. The the uh, European is much more aggressive. This is the European valid uh, a week from tomorrow, Tuesday, the the twenty fifth of January. It's a whopper of a storm coming out of the Gulf, uh, and that would suggest the thermal profile all rain, of course. But keep in mind, this is beyond seven days, so we know what that is. It's voodoo. And on the first of February. That's an interesting look right there. It's got a active southern branch undercutting a, a delivery mechanism for cold air. And you, boy, look at here now. That's close to having some real problems here. And I know, you know, Dr. Tim sent out a note this morning about the, uh, uh, the teleconnections that the GFS has been suggesting, the Arctic Oscillation and the North Atlantic Oscillation. It's been going positive while the operational runs don't suggest that. And he questions a little bit how they're deriving those uh, graphs. So, But clearly, the last uh, few model trends here have been toward a colder solution and a more unsettled solution for late this month into early next month. So maybe we don't get a break from the uh, cold air and the wintry weather threats. We'll just have to wait and see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. That's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.